Hello students, hi, I'm Penny teacher. Uh, last week uh, we made some posters about sea life, the wonders of the sea, and I took them, I like them, thank you so much. And today we will make a little revision of the unit, so let's have a look at them. And just I would like to show you a kind of an example of the poster, okay? Let's pass the revision part. Okay, we will start with the grammar part. Grammar activity, make it in sections. Choose the correct answers. Okay, right? There are 10 questions. Let's look at them. We blah blah protect the sea or our resources will disappear. What can be the answer? Can't, have to, or don't. So, what can be the answer? A, no. B, or C? Of course, have to. Okay, we have to protect the C. Question 2. To keep parks clean, we clean up after a picnic. We must, can, or don't. The answer is A, B, or C. Which one? Must. We must clean up after a picnic. 2. Not 3. We look after the earth and stop polluting it. What can be the answer? Must, can't, or don't. Three, two, one. The answer is must. Okay, the next one. Please, blah, blah, leave rubbish in the mountains when you go hiking. We don't. Don't leave rubbish in the mountains when you go hiking. Okay, to say our please, we blah blah protect the forests. We can't, don't, or have to. Of course, we have to protect the forests. Six, we blah blah throw bottles and cans into the sea and rivers. Must, can't, or have to. We must, can't, or have to. Which one is the answer? Three. Two, one, that's this, can't. Okay, the seventh one. We, blah, blah, have health plants and trees if we pollute our air. Okay, must, can't or have to. What can be the answer? The answer is can't. Okay, the eighth question. Please blah blah leave rubbish or food in the cafeteria. Don't, can't, or have to. What is the answer? Which one? Don't, of course, don't. We don't leave rubbish or food in the cafeteria. Next question. Blah blah leave rubbish on the beach. Have to, can't, don't. Three, two, one. What is the answer? Don't leave rubbish on the beach. The last question. To protect the resources in the sea, we blah blah stop pollution. Don't, can't or must. The answer is three, two, one. Must. We must stop pollution. Okay, now we can play it again, but if you like it, you can stop the video and play again now we pass the other activity okay now we will watch a video listen and watch it now hi hugo is it time for some videos yes it is we're going to watch some videos about the sea this is a turtle wow brilliant turtles lay their eggs on the beach that's right Turtles live in the sea, but they crawl onto the beach to dig nests and lay their eggs in the sand. This is a whale. That's a big whale. It's making a really big splash. Yes, it is. These are dolphins. They're jumping out of the water next to that boat. It looks like they're having fun. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? Dolphins are really interesting sea creatures. Oh, this is my favourite sea creature. This 
is an octopus. It's changing colour. The octopus is changing colour. Wow, Hugo, there are so many beautiful and interesting creatures in the sea. Yes, there are, aren't there? But if we don't protect the sea, those animals could all disappear. This is rubbish. It's in the sea. Oh no, rubbish should not be in the sea. That's right, it shouldn't. Rubbish makes the water dirty and it can hurt sea creatures. So can this. This is an oil spill. Some ships carry oil across the sea. Sometimes the oil spills into the water. Look at that mess. Oil spills and pollution are terrible for the sea. They're fishing. When people take too many fish out of the sea, we're doing something called overfishing. That's a lot of things to remember, Anna. I'm worried about the sea and about the animals that live there. So am I. The sea is important for us all. I think we should all think about what we can do to protect the sea and the creatures that live there. I agree. Have a think about it. What can you do to help the sea and its creatures? Okay, you can write right here on your notebooks. Okay, so you read the posters and Okay, let's pass the other written part. Okay, now we will watch a video. We will watch a story. Are you ready for a story? This story is called Storm Along and the Giant Octopus. It's based on an American tall tale. One morning, many years ago, a big wave carried a giant turtle onto a beach in the United States. The turtle had a giant human baby on its back. This was not a regular baby. This baby was bigger than three grown men. The family that found the baby called him Alfred B. Stormalong, but they called him Stormy. They looked after him and Stormy grew even bigger. When he was a boy, he was bigger than a whale. In fact, he had two whales for pets. Stormy became the captain of a giant sailing ship called the Corsa. Stormy needed an enormous crew of men to help him on his ship. Together, they sailed from the city of Boston on many adventures. On one of Stormy's greatest adventures, he sailed the Corsa a long way out into the Atlantic. He wanted to catch giant tuna fish to sell in Boston. We'll catch lots of tuna, Stormy told his crew. Stormy stopped the Corsa and dropped the ship's anchor into the water to stop the Corsa moving. Then Stormy and his crew started to catch fish. Look at all of those fish, cried the men. We'll catch a mountain of fish today. The other men used fishing rods to catch the big fish, but Stormy just caught them with his hands. Soon there was a giant pile of tuna on the Corsa. Stormy even caught some sharks. Suddenly, something from deep in the sea pulled on the anchor chain. It was something big. It almost pulled the ship under the water. Stormy and his crew tried to pull the anchor up. They couldn't do it. The anchor didn't move. I'll get the anchor, said Stormy, and he dived into the water. Stormy swam down to the bottom of the ocean. A giant octopus was holding the anchor with its eight arms. It looked like a sea monster, but Stormy wasn't scared. Stormy started to fight with the octopus. He pulled its arms off the anchor. The octopus tried to grab Stormy, but Stormy tied up the monster's arms. Soon, Stormy had got the anchor and he brought it back to the ship. Back on the ship, Stormy told his crew about the octopus. 
It was the biggest sea monster I have ever seen, he said. But it won't bother us again. The crew all cheered. Then they sailed off to have another adventure. The end. Okay, did you like the story? No? I have to say goodbye to you. Bye. Bye.